Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 action film One More Shot. The film is co-written and directed by James Nunn and it stars Scott Atkins, Hannah Arterton, Tom Berenger, Duncan Casey and Michael J. White. Now this is a direct sequel to the, I think it was the 2021 film uh, One Shot and um, that was obviously a film that scar starred Scott Atkins and it was essentially he had like a, an elite group of soldiers that were due to escort somebody from like a private airport in Europe somewhere and they were kind of ambushed by terrorists uh, he lost pretty much all his team but he managed to kind of get the guy out alive this film is the direct sequel to that film. And when I say direct sequel, I mean direct sequel. It literally carries on where that film lefts off. Now, other than I think this film could have done with a basic recap, because I do remember watching One Shot, but I don't remember, remember it intimately. Um, I remember it being pretty decent, but I can't remember all the ins and outs and what everything that went on. So I think this film probably could have done with a little bit of a recap. Uh, especially when you consider that most weekly episodic TV shows start with a recap of what happened the week before. This comes, you know, two and a half years or something like after the last one. So um, you're kind of a bit unsure what's going on initially. But the basic premise here of the film is um, Scott Atkins' character, Jake Harris, delivers the guy that he kind of kept safe in the last film um, to this airport. Um, the CIA and others are ready and there to collect him. This airport has been closed down. Some story has been made up. So it's just them there really to receive him. And supposedly this terrorist that um, Scott Atkins is escorting has planted a dirty bomb in Washington, D.C. So he's very, very valuable. And then, very similar to the last film, they are descended upon by a group of radical stroke terrorists. Uh, everybody's taken out, and once again, Scott Atkins' character has to keep this, not only this guy alive that he's been escorting since the last film, but now thrown into the mix is his pregnant wife as well, who has been brought on board to kind of get this guy to talk. So he's got to keep both these people alive. This, the, uh, alive. This this guy knows about the dirty bomb and his pregnant wife, um, and everybody's closing in from all angles. Right. What are my thoughts on one more shot? Well, I think that the big selling point for the first film was kind of like it was supposedly supposedly you know a bit like the nineteen was it nineteen seventeen that film that came out two or three years ago. It's kind of all one shot sort of thing. That was the whole idea with the first film, and it's very much similar. Th concept here um, you know the cameras kind of following Scott Atkins pretty much throughout sort of thing uh, apart from a couple of deviations here and there and it's a cool concept it really is um, and I think for the most part what we have here is an absolutely very very solid sequel um, Scott Atkins well if you know and you follow my content you know that I think quite highly of Scott Atkins. I think he delivers some really good quality action films, especially these days. You can look at some of his earlier work and raise an eyebrow, and I have reviewed a number of his films on this channel that I wasn't very keen on. Um, but I think now he's kind of rising to that excellence in regards to delivering pretty good, well-made, um, high-quality action films, and this is no different. Um, this is not the superhuman Scott Atkins that you know this is the um, vulnerable Scott Atkins in the sense of he's highly skilled highly trained but anybody going in a scenario like that is going to get their ass handed to him now and again and he gets it handed to him a number of times in this film especially when you consider it continues on literally from the last film and he got battered in that one uh, and he's only had like a plane ride to recover from his injuries from the last film um, but it, it, it just keeps going forward if you like keeps 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 moving forward trying to keep these people safe um, and it, it works really well it's almost like a video game actually at times you know you know waves of enemies are thrown at the hero character they wipe out the uh, waves of enemies just if you like with very little health remaining and then there's a boss to fight and this film is actually structured in a lot of ways very much like a video game in that sense but it's very, very watchable. I, I mean, Scott Atkinson now is at the point in his acting and action career 
where and I'm not actually sure I haven't checked if he was anything to do with the fight choreography here but I would imagine he, ex he demands and expects high standards because he's so skilled himself in regards to fight cho choreography martial arts and stunts even you know what I mean um, and that's something you really get here you know that the fight choreography is is really grounded very brutal uh, it feels realistic it's not you know flippy kicks here and there and spin kicks and you know the flashy unrealistic stuff it's all it all feels like you know it's military trained and it's all like survival tactics and um, and, it, and it just works very much like the first film um, and it's like every encounter he gets in is his only real priority is to survive and keep these people alive it's not really to kill as many people as he can it's like right protect these people stay alive keep them alive move on sort of thing um, and it, that really really comes across here in this film and I think Scott Atkins is um, really good at doing these sort of movies uh, really high quality um, action films that just work I think they really work I, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing well I, I'm fairly sure the way this ends that we're going to get a third here um, uh, and I wouldn't be averse to watching a third in this I mean I quite like Scott Atkins when he returns with sequels they're usually better in a lot of in a lot of instances than the first ones um, I, I, I'm not sure I'd have to watch the first one again if I was to give you a real um, answer as to whether I think this is better than the first one or not. I certainly um, really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it was a lot of fun to watch. The choreography was well done. Uh, the location was interesting. Um, you know, it was well directed. Uh, the pace was just right. And there were some quite thrilling moments as well when it was non-action where you've got these torture scenes and you know negotiation tactics and you know you, there, there's one scene in particular where someone's getting tortured and forced to give up information and you're just thinking to yourself okay okay when are you going to make a move in regards to Scott Atkins character when are you going to do it when are you going to do it come on come on come on um, I think it, it actually gets quite frustrating but you kind of know well if he does make a move he's probably dead he's got to pick the perfect time regardless of you know potentially how hurt someone could get so yeah I had a good time with this film if you enjoyed the first one you're going to enjoy this one if you haven't seen the first one watch that first before you watch this and fans of Scott Atkins I don't think you're going to be particularly disappointed with this one I certainly wasn't so thanks for watching guys I'll be back with more content on the channel very very soon